So then in this video, we will talk about the SSP5 5.1, which might be the weirdest launch from Norwich yet, since it's been selling in Asia for two months now. Uh, the reason for that is these guns are produced in Asia and they reach the retailers sooner than Europe. And due to whatever reason, our B2B didn't stop them from selling it. So, get started. I won't go to the unboxing because every other influencer will do that. In the box, you should get the same thing as the 6.1. This will be a short video because this gun is not that different from the 6 inch version and is not better or worse than the 6 inch version. It's just different and it uh, suits a slightly different purpose. Some update, the guide rod is screwed together. The batch 2 of the 6 inch also uses this method. It makes the assembly slightly easier. I will show you why. So before, you have to remember to put all these elements in before you close the slide. Otherwise, you cannot slide the guide in like a regular 5.1. But now you can actually put everything together and screw the, the rod in the end and just line things up. It might be even easier if you are dealing with a stronger spring or whatnot. As you can see, the rod is there and we have to this, especially this one, a special buffer there. This steel disc, it has a, a curved cutout to match the outer barrel. Um, it has exactly the same features as the 6.1. Still have the same TDC, same red dot cutout, same rear and front side, uh, same inner barrel diameter, but the difference is length, okay. Side by side, yeah, right there. You have this extra inch of inner barrel. And this, since it takes a regular 5.1 inner barrel, your power will be a regular 5.1. Out of the box, this thing should be clocking about one joule, which opens up market for uh, secondaries, uh, certain indoor field uh, here in Europe and whatnot. Uh, also making finding your inner barrel slightly easier. This one, if you want to upgrade, the closest you will find is probably MK23 inner barrel. This one here, any 5.1 inner barrel will do. Now, um, it's the 5.1 has always been planned. The 6.1 was just more like a, a personal interest for me because I used to upgrade longer high capas for the additional power. Once you find out the pistols are just ac as accurate as the rifle, you start finding it's a lot easier to just use a pistol. Uh, now for the 5.1, first you take the stock, it's lower power, you run the secondary, run it in all your indoor fields, you won't run into a problem. Your whole pop can hop whatever BB you want to put in there. And it's, uh, it did have a small change to make it more stable with a uh, lighter weight BB. We go through that later. Now, if you take, let's say, yeah, this peop I know people have been waiting this for a very long time, the Tracer version. Sorry guys, you will have to wait a little bit longer. Things are not easy around here. But if you want to run this, you know, a lot of indoor fields, they are one drew and whatnot, but you can like boost it a little bit. And if you want a, a closer performance to the six inch, you just take the thread adapter. I hope I get it right. And you can see you get a little bit more space. And now you can run a slightly longer inner bar. I think you can run an uh, 130 millimeter inner barrel. I don't have one around here, but I think you can uh, find some inner barrel that will do. Yeah, the inner barrel ends where the thread starts. You gain this space. You gain about a centimeter and a half of inner barrel, and that will boost your power uh, probably to 1.2 in a steady point. Now, the one major upgrade. Yeah, it, the guns do take upgrades once in a while because we all, always learn new stuff. 
Now this one is um, was something I didn't plan for for the six inch. The six inch always meant to take slightly heavier BBs like three two zero three and above, and it does really good in that. But with the lighter weight BB is not very stable, and that's because the the power, um, how the slide chamber the BB is a little bit, uh, too fast, and when you have too light of a BB, the hop pressure is not enough to define the positioning of the BB well enough. That's why sometimes, let's say you take um, zero point two gram BBs, you put in and you set a hop. Just the, the slide moving, the chambering can kick your BB out of the barrel. Now the 5.1 did have that solved. And all the future badges. So you take a comparison, you can see the black shroud around the bucking is very different. Not very different, but you can see it covers the bucking a lot more, this uh, chamfer. Uh, first, this is helps uh, to, preserve, um, to shape the bucking a little bit better. So it's more direct chamfering goes in. This one goes in and there is this bump from the bucking. Now it varies from bucking to bucking, but this size, um, I find it pairs the best with majority, like it's a good compromise between most of the buckings. Also this one is slightly tighter around the bucking, then that is to reduce the speed the BBs enter the chamber to make a more precise chambering. And with my testing, this one is very stable with uh, zero 2 gram BBs and up. It still hops four fives on this tiny gun if you wanted to. And this makes uh, quite a big difference. Of course, this part will be as a spare part if you want to update your six. This makes this gun uh, CQB legal in of the US fields. I think the US the BB weight is two fives uh, below and uh, below 400 FPS with a zero two. Very weird combination is considering how light the BB is and how much power uh, they allow. Apart from that, it's uh, the rest. You can actually put the 5.1 in the six. Yeah, it's exactly the same. So this actually brings the also opportunity that you could, since the swap is quite fast, if you get used to it. And not as fast as removing a slide, but once you get used to it, you could have one back piece, one pistol, and you just have two front assemblies. And you can have your outdoor, indoor, different kind of build, different power levels, different BB weight tuned, and give you this flexibility of it. So there you go, this would be a, a more official review of the SSP-5 since I don't know what they have been telling in Asia about this pistol. Yeah, the, the, the lower is the same, the, the back piece is the same, just the front, different lengths and the hop-up, the bucking shroud is different.